yesterday and I always do this which is so annoying and I'm gonna just start like not even um, worrying about if I am late somewhere because I want to film something or anything like that basically yesterday I'm we met my mom and I had a day planned out yesterday to go get her hair done and before that though we were gonna go to eat at Cracker Barrel Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. I tried not to film in the kitchen this time and I'm doing a new look and I actually really like this a lot. Um, but anyways, I went, so we, we went to Cracker Barrel and we had like a window of like an hour and a half to like wait to get seated and also to eat our food and be able, also to eat our food and be able to go get her to her appointment. Well, because we didn't think properly on that half of Memphis was out of power and everybody decided to go, in, half the schools were out still because nobody had power, um, and everybody decided to not sit in their house with no electricity and go out to eat, Cracker Barrel was packed on a Monday morning, like very, very packed. And like it was packed to the point of let me just tell you one lady walked up to the to the hostess and said that i need a table for 23 people so if you that shows you how packed it was it was packed i didn't see all the 23 people so i don't know if she like i think she might have gone in by herself and then said something and then everybody else was waiting out in their cars or something but yeah it was crazy so basically we got booked in we were going to go eat have a lovely breakfast and then take her to her hair appointment but then we sat there for 20 minutes when they told us it was going to take 20 minutes for us to get seated and we asked okay we still haven't got like somebody i think somebody that had just gotten there had been seated before us which was weird because we had been there before and they like we thought they had skipped us so we asked her and she said that we actually had eight other people in front of us waiting to be seated and the problem was is that no one was getting up to leave because nobody wanted to go back home to their freezing cold houses with no electricity so basically we decided to leave and we ended up going to sonic because we didn't want to risk going to like ihop or another restaurant that has breakfast because everybody was doing the exact same thing because they were out of power which we did we like didn't we we had power so it was like we didn't realize that there were so many people that were trying to leave their house so that they could go get away from being in the cold, freezing, dark houses. So that happened. And so then we go to Sonic, we get her dropped off. I go teach. And then um, I pick her back up. We ended up going shopping and we went to go look at some stuff for her to have her, um, for like her horse stuff that she likes and go look at like saddles and things. And then after that, we went and ate at Tzatziki's and had our um, food there. But then the thing that we actually really wanted, the whipped feta dip that's really, really good, they were out of. So that was another fail of a Monday. And then after that, she ended up needing to go. She had a dentist appointment planned out. It turned out to just be like a, to look at the tooth that she's having problems with. So, and that took like almost an hour and a half. And I was sitting in the car waiting. And I just like watched YouTube videos or whatever in the car while I was waiting on her to get looked at with her tooth because my mom had like a tooth that she needs to be fixed. So she's going to get that done next week sometime. And yeah, and then also I wanted to show, I got this as like a Christmas gift, I think is what she was supposed to give it to me for. But um, it's got Hocus Pocus stuff all over it and it's one of those like Starbucks cups. But it has Hocus Pocus all over it and stickers. And um, my cousin, Adeline, that I um, homeschool, she actually got this for me. And she also got like a little tag that says Piper's name on it for her. So I got that. So that's what I'm drinking my water out of right now. Um, but yeah, so that was yesterday. We came home super late. We got home at like 
4 30 5 o'clock i think or like maybe 5 30 i can't remember and all i did was literally just watch big brother and go to bed pretty much i watched big brother i watched a hallmark movie and then i went to sleep like i literally was so exhausted from yesterday cut to today and it's like almost 11 o'clock i actually need to watch the time because i've got to leave again i've been reading two books right now which is shocking because i can, i don't think i've ever read two books at once except for in january i did read jamie lynn spears book on my ipad or on my computer and then i read um the thief knot from the green glass house series on my ipad but I got, um, I, but I'm on the third Girl Online book. I am going to finish this book. This is one book that I have never been able to finish. I just like read part of it and then I quit reading it for whatever reason. I have no idea why. But this time is the time to know what happens at the end of the series. Because I'm pretty sure I've never finished this book. And um, I'm a good ways into it right now. But this is the third and last book of that series. And then I'm slowly reading the second book, uh, it's not like a series, it's, they're each their own book, but it's the, um, it w one of them was, One of Us is Lying is the first one, and this one is Two Can Keep a Secret, and I've had this book for a while, and it's just taken me so long to read it, and it's actually pretty good, but um, I've been kind of reading it if I like don't feel like watching TV before a show comes on, or like, you know, I have like nothing really going on, which is why I'm barely even into it. I'm only like five chapters into it, and I've been reading it for the past like three or four days now. But um, I read like a chapter a day or something like that. Like I barely even read it. I'm just kind of slow reading this, and um, and then I'm reading the other book like throughout the whole week, but taking my time on the other one. And um, those are the two books. They're pretty good. And I'm trying to think of what else. Oh. Basically this morning I get up and I'm trying to read my book. I'm trying to eat my breakfast, like chill out and wait for me to take my mom to her. I'm going to take her to another appointment. And while she was dropped off there, I was gonna go and help out at my dad's shop, which if, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have worked there for a while. So I was gonna go up there for a little bit while she was there and then come pick her back up and come home for the day. This morning, we get a text from our neighbor, the neighbor that I watch Big Brother with and stuff, and she was saying that the nail salon that we go to had nobody there, so we were going to go and get our nails done because I need to get these done. Like, I have not had them done in a couple of weeks, and they are just breaking and falling off and all, all the stuff. Um, they are just, like, not, they need to be redone. Like, they're all crackly, and they need to be redone. But um, I went... I was supposed to go there, so I got myself ready. I just threw on like a jacket, a t-shirt, and leggings and took off out the door. I took my hash browns with me. I like took everything with me and took off to get to the nail salon before it started getting packed because basically they don't go by appointments. They go by full-on walk-ins. So if you don't get there as right when they open, then you aren't going to be the first one to be seen and people will pile up and they'll you go by whoever showed up first and uh and there's only like three people that work there so it's it's very very like first come first serve you have to get there at a certain time or whatever well we ended up not getting there on time and it got crazy packed from compared to where my neighbor was saying so we ended up um, coming back home, we had an hour, which it's almost now about to be the time that I, I sat down. I did the dishes. I sat down just to start reading, and I was like, you know what? I need to start my video, so this is where we're at now. So you're all caught up, and I am now about to leave to go do that in just a little bit, in like literally like 10, 15 minutes. I'm trying to figure out when I want to film the house decorating series that I asked about on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you are missing out on all my fun polls and questions and different things like that. Um, I asked if anybody would like to, see, if anyone that watches my videos would like to see a um, house decoration slash organization for spring 
but I wonder I wanted to know if you wanted to see it as a mini series so each specific room would have its own specific video and it would be like a like a house decor series or would you want it as to be one big thing and like have it as one long video but the majority of the people picked mini series so i think i'm gonna do that i'm definitely gonna do that because i really need to spruce up this house like i'm so like i really have a lot of exciting things for my room planned that i want to do and like i just my room is what got me wanting to do something because my room is just so bland like there's nothing on the walls I barely have like any decorations in there like I miss how my room used to look back in my parents house and I don't obviously I'm not going to do like crazy blue walls or anything but I kind of want to like I don't know I just like I didn't have to have I don't have to have as much furniture in my room as I did back then because that was the only space that I really had besides my bathroom but now that I have all this other space everything is spread out so it's like I don't have the like little confined like cutesy looking space anymore but also i don't really spend a lot of time in my bedroom I'm but anyways i will talk to you guys in a little bit once i leave yeah and so i'll just take you along on this journey of this day ate chick-fil-a and then literally took off again to kroger and went and got groceries so i'm going to do a grocery haul because we have not done one of those in a very long time on this channel and we need to bring them back i also really would like to bring back trader joe's hauls because i miss going there i haven't been since right before thanksgiving and i really want to go back but it's just so far away for me to go and i actually was going to be right down the road from it on saturday but also it's the Saturday before the Super Bowl, Saturday before Valentine's Day, and a Saturday in the heart of Memphis is not the place you want to be, especially right before a big event happening, um, to go grocery shopping or shopping in general. So I just went to Kroger, also because I haven't gone grocery shopping in a couple of weeks and I'm out of everything. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I got a lot of new things, so to try or just to have around the house, just as a, like, to snack on and things. I will show you so that nothing um, gets like messed up from being frozen or whatever. So the first thing that I got, um, this was a splurge. I um, saw my grandma get these the other day and I remember having these as a kid and obviously I'm not going to eat them all like in one day or anything like that. They're just going to be in the freezer if I want something sweet just to snack on. But I got these Belgian mini cream puffs. <laughs> I know it's like such a grandma thing to have, but like I haven't had this as a, since I was a little kid and I'm very excited to have some. So there's that and then I also got some more creamer. This is the Toffee Nut Latte Starbucks creamer um, because I just ran out this morning so I needed some more. And then I got, what else did I get? I got some more paper plates. Um, paper plates are becoming very hard to find, like the ones that actually go in the microwave. I'm hoping that these, oh yeah, these are microwave safe. Okay, good. Um, and uh, cause that's what I like to use them for is if I'm putting something in the microwave or even just like, just so I don't have to do the dishes. Cause who wants to do dishes? Not me. So that is why I get those every once in a while. And then I also picked up this coffee, which is the Starbucks house blend medium roast. The next bag that I got of stuff is, I got some of these croissants, but they're turkey sausage. And then um, I've got some, of these they're tempura shrimp but they're with the honey sauce oh my gosh you can't even see me i'm so sorry the honey sauce instead of the firecracker ones i'm gonna try and then i got this to try i'm a huge chicken and dumplings fan i've been a fan of this since i was literally a teeny tiny baby i have always grown up with homemade chicken and dumplings but Again, I am too, I'm like by myself. I don't need a whole huge pot of chicken and dumplings because this I'm going to try and see if it tastes like the chicken and dumplings that I'm used to. And because I've been craving them also and I'm just too lazy to make them myself. Um, and then this other one, I got another one of these things, but they're the, um, they're like the chocolate eclairs version. So I'm going to try those. And also I'm sure my mom will like these. 
So I'm definitely gonna bring some of these over to her house when we do Super Bowl Sunday. Then I found, I wasn't gonna go in the ice cream aisle because I already have some ice cream at my house. But I found these cute little guys <laughs> and I had to try them. Cause I mean, they're teeny tiny, so it's not like I bought a huge thing of them or anything. But I got caramel cone. Um, they're from the Hagen Days, I think that's how you say it. I don't know, brand. But um, I got caramel cone. I got strawberry ice cream because there's a place next to where I work um, that has strawberry ice cream that they usually give if you order it in a certain like meal and it's so good and it's been one of my favorite ice creams lately so I wanted to get some of this to try and see if it tastes like it and then this is the Dolce de Leche or Leche I don't know but it's like a little caramel ice cream so I got those to try and then I also obviously had to get more Dan Dan noodles and I'm going to savor these because I could only get two because the rest of them were way too far in the back for me to reach. And, um, and so I got, I'm going to get, I got two of them, but I'm going to only eat them when a special thing is happening. So like if one of my favorite shows is on or if I'm just like not feeling that great, I can treat myself with some of these. I don't know. It's just like a little fun treat for myself. And, um, and then I also got some more hash browns because I just ran out of those this morning. And then my next bag of food, I bought some more black olives because I love snacking on these. They're my favorite. Also, dipping them in the in any type of hummus, but the spinach and artichoke hummus from Boar's Head is really good. Um, and I also got two of the risottos. Um, they're uh, mushroom risotto. This stuff is so good for like a quick meal if you don't want to um cook anything but you want something that's gonna like fill you up but you will need something really quickly that is good also good for days that if like you aren't really feeling that great and you just need like a soup or like you want something you want like a soup or something just like warm and cozy if it's like on a cold um day or whatever like if it like when it was snowing this would have been great for a snow day i don't know just something warm and cozy if you need like I don't know. I just did a little picnic. And then I got some more pickles because I love the Boar's Head um, kosher um, pickles from Boar's Head are so good. So I got those. And then I got a little thing of vegetables, vegetables that are already cut up because I was wanting some carrots and stuff, but I didn't want to buy like a huge thing of them. So I got this tiny little one to have and some more black olives because I had to get two of them because I love eating those as a snack. And then I got this, it's from the Home Chef um, brand and it's a lemon pepper chicken with rice and honey roasted carrots. And I got this to try for a dinner or either an, even a lunch, but I need to eat it in a couple of days because it's gonna go bad if I don't hurry up and eat it. And then I also picked up some, I love the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn and I just went ahead and got the bag of it. I also had to get another bag of my Dots pretzels. These pretzels are so, so good. I was also trying to get some biscuits and for whatever reason, biscuits are completely out of stock right now at my Kroger. All you can find in the biscuit section is like all the like cookies and stuff and then like the cornbread and then maybe like the flatbread rolled out dough stuff, but you cannot find croissants, you cannot find any type of biscuit, and even in the frozen biscuits, you can only find the dinner rolls and not like any of the Pillsbury frozen biscuits or anything like that, you, they're like non-existent. Also, I couldn't find any of the thin or regular flavored Oreos. Like all they had were the Cakester new ones that came out, and then double stuffed with and then like they had it like the lemony kind or vanilla kind or whatever um but i could not find any of that stuff it was crazy i also got i got another bag of the risotto and then i also picked up for a dinner or something i got this savory garlic shrimp scampi i'm gonna try this out and see how that tastes I got some ice cream cones because, I, like I said, I do have some ice cream. I have some mint chocolate chip ice cream that I was going to put these in or put it in those. And then I also got, I got this brand from a different store, that, but I got this brand of stuff that um, is the Sunbelt Bakery. This is the fudge dipped coconut ones, and these are really good if you just need something quick to grab and go but i found them i got this kind of try it's a banana oat flavored and it looks really good and it sounds really good so i'm going to try that 
And I also got some two things that I might do for a video idea. Um, that's mainly why I wanted. And also they look very good, like especially the other one of these. But I got these, I found these Betty Crocker cookie cups. And this one is a chocolate fudge, so it's almost like a cookie brownie. And then I found this one that I thought about doing for a video, and it's a salted caramel pretzel one. So I got those two, and I might um, film me making one of them sometime this week or even next week um, for part of the week, week in my life video. But yeah, so that is everything that I bought other than paper towels. <laughs> end of the video <laughs> um Piper wants to be in the video as well but um Hocus is outside right now she's actually I think she wants to come inside um but I today is Friday it is three o'clock on Friday so this is the end of this video of this week of my life I just got back from Piper I am trying to do this video <laughs> Um, I just got back from getting my nails done. I got this really bright, p pretty pink. Um, and for Valentine's Day, even though I don't have a Valentine. Piper is excited for me to be home right now for me getting my nails done. And um, I'm very excited for Valentine's Day because in my family, we have a tradition where we will eat steak and crab legs. Mainly, it's mainly crab legs, but sometimes we eat steak. Um, and that is a tradition that we've had. That is pretty much, I just wanted to, I didn't get to end the last one because I forgot to film a clip for the last one. So I'm going to end this one now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I've got some very exciting things happening within the next few months. But anyways, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And follow me on Instagram so you don't miss when I post things and um, sneak peeks of things before I even post them. So yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.